If you own an e-commerce business and your customer support staff is spending hundreds of hours every day on the same repetitive questions from your customers, then this AI agent can potentially save you hundreds of hours by handling 95% of these queries and problems 24/7 completely automated. And besides it, it can also suggest products to the customers intelligently by choosing the right products for their needs and increase your sales in no extra cost. So let me show you how this WhatsApp agent looks and works like. So this is the WhatsApp agent that we have created for a brand called as Kanyadhan. You can see that Kanyadhan provides jewelries, handmade jewelries for bridal collections. And nowadays they are selling rakis as well. It's a season based thing. Let's start off with a simple text like this. I'll just click on send. Now we'll go back to the workflow and you'll see it has received the text. It got very quickly to here to the AI agent. Now AI agent has gone to the open AI to ask maybe let's say some question to figure out something and it has responded back. So you see how smart the agent is. Now it's asking me a question. So let's talk to our customer support agent and let's respond back with the answer. Let's see what happens. So it went here. It went to the AI agent. Now it's fetching details from the super base vector store. And now it's going to open AI to formulate the entire message. Now it has responded back. Wonderful. So you see how personalized recommendation works. And this is exactly what it gave me. I can simply now click on the website link. It would open that particular website itself. I can simply click on add to cart, buy it now and go forward with it. Now let's take it a level up. Let's send an audio message and then see how does the WhatsApp agent responds? These are not fitting my need. Can you show me something in red colored Raki and you can make it traditional style as well. Audio message sent. It has received the audio. Now it checks. It goes to the audio, downloads the audio, transcribes it, goes to the AI agent, immediately goes to the vector store, comes back with the answer. It's generating the exact answer here. Now OpenAI is generating an audio. It has generated the entire audio. Now it's sending the message. Let's see what we got. We got a 14 minute audio response from the AI agent. Here are some beautiful traditional style Rockies in red color for your elder brother. Buy red golden beaded Rocky 49. A traditional Rocky made with red and golden beads symbolizing strength, protection, and prosperity. This is the magic of the customer support agent. I will ask it to send me the links of this exact thing. Done. And it has quickly gone to here, the AI agent. The same audio which was here, all the products which it provided, it has sent the links of that. How amazing is this? Just imagine having this customer support agent working for your business 24 seven. So now we can simply click on this and it would of course go to that very same Raki under 249. You can purchase this, buy it now, do whatever you want. Now you will say Priyank, this recommendation model is brilliant. But see, once again, we can hire a human who does this. So a bride generally wants to send her photo and then say that, okay, send me something matching with this. Can your AI agent do that? Say yes, my AI agent can do that. Let's test that out. I have this bride photo here. I want the customer support agent to recommend the bride any jewelry which would go with this dress. I just type in, it's a simple text prompt with image. We have sent the image, we have sent the text. Let's go back to our agent. It has got the image. This time it found out that there was an image. Went to the image, got the image, downloaded it. Now it's using OpenAI chat GPT to analyze the images. It has analyzed, it has gone to the text prompt. It has sent the answer to the AI agent. And now the AI agent is generating a response to it. The AI agent has run completely and now it has some of the recommendations. So then I asked, okay, can you send me these, uh, the exact product links? And now it has done that. See how wonderfully the customer support agent works, even no matter if it's an image, no matter if it's an audio, no matter if it's the text prompt, it would reply back with the perfect responses. Now let's dive into the get order details module and how would that work? So basically this WhatsApp agent, I have given this a tool. This tool has the access to generate order details. So what this tool would do is basically it would call on this workflow, which would find the order ID from Kanyadhan's official Shopify website using the Shopify graph API. Then if that order is in fulfillment right now, then it would respond back with the text that it is not fulfilled yet would get fulfilled in the next 24 to 48 hours. If let's say the order has been fulfilled and it's in delivery right now. So this would generate the tracking ID and it would send back a response with the tracking ID, a tracking link and every other detail. You want to test it out? Let's do it. 
So as you can see, I've placed the order. This is my confirmation number. Thank you, Priyank. And of course, the order details. Now let's go to our WhatsApp agent to see whether or not it would be able to tell where my order is. First, let's test my order. So I've just asked, I just placed an order. Can you tell me where it is? It has asked me about my phone number, my email, confirmation. Let's respond back. And uh, here we go. Here it's running, going to the AI agent. Now it's calling this get order details. This time it automatically decides that it would call and it would need this, right? And as you can see, you will come here, you will go to executions. You will come here in executions, you'll see succeeded at uh, 1459. This is, this was the entire process. You can see it checked from the order ID, it went to the if node, and then of course it went to the response node. And what is the response that it shared? Your order number is currently in fulfillment process. Please allow 24 to 48 hours to ship it. Once shipped, we'll notify you. Now let's test out an order which is already in shipment. So I've fished out the details of an order which is in fulfillment right now. And let's send this to the AI agent and let's see how the response is. We have sent it to the AI agent to ask the details. It goes to the AI agent now, going to the get order details, it had fetched the details and here you go. It has responded. So hey, as you can see, this is the shipment details of this order, which I just requested for. Now, of course, you wouldn't be able to fetch it out unless you know the pin code, email address, phone number, and the order ID of that person. Only and only then the AI agent would respond. So there is a guardrail which I've set up that nobody can ask orders of random people. And as soon as we click this link, you'll see that this page opens up which would have the details of where the order is right now and where it's going towards it's prepaid and of course the shipping link of that right so this was the entire agent now this has a lot of opportunities still we can add on upselling features onto this we can add on order creation we can add on purchase apis we can add on razor pay apis which would be able to generate payment link and the person would be able to pay right there on whatsapp itself and complete their order it can also have some upselling features so that if somebody is trying to purchase this, maybe it can upsell one more product that, okay, if you're trying this, try this out as well. It can upsell, it will increase your sales. So let's talk about some limiting beliefs that you might be having. Number one, customers would not like talking to an AI. This AI chats like a human do. You've already seen the interactions. It understands the customer's problems and needs extremely well. So it actually generates responses much better than a human can do. You did not only read that, you actually heard that as well in the audio response. And let's be honest, most of the customers would love that their problems and their needs are being resolved instantly. Whereas when there is an actual human there and you're getting so many queries, a human can take a lot of time and then also still make some mistake out of there. Second, you might also be thinking about the security and data safety that the AI might cause you security concerns or data or release sensitive customer data. But be assured, to solve this, we set up the AI agent in such a, such a way that it has all the guardrails listed. I'll show you how. So I'll go to the AI agent and I'll open the prompt and you'll see that it has all these prompts, but it also has this very unique prompt, which is called as forbidden actions. Do not apply manual discounts. Do not modify or delete. Do not reveal internal data. Do not quote. Right, do not give, uh, do not proceed without all ma mandatory customer data. Right, these are some escalation rules based on which it would forward to a human support team. These are some guardrails or some tricky scenarios, and we can add tons and tons of these. So basically, anything which a human might actually try with the AI to get some sensitive data out, it would safeguard it. And then again, another level of security is added. When we take your data to the database, it is securely encrypted. Nobody can access that. And also this only accesses customer data when necessary, just like the humans would do. You would see that this is the WhatsApp agent. It starts off with a simple WhatsApp trigger, which is anybody who is ever messaging you, no matter even if it's like night, 1am, 2am, 3am, 
this node would be triggered immediately. It would go to this switch node, which would basically fetch whether the message was an audio, a text or an image. Then it would, of course, go to its own individual flows. Now, let's say somebody texted an audio that, hey there, I want this, 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 this. So what this flow will do is it will fetch the audio. It will download that. It will transcribe the entire audio using OpenAI. And then, of course, it would create an audio prompt or the text message which we want to send to our AI agent so that AI agent can understand what this particular message means and can respond back or at least create an appropriate response for that query. Then it would use OpenAI's chat models and this is where we have connected the vector store. What is a vector store? Vector store is a dynamic database out of which your AI agent will fetch all the information. So this particular vector store has the information from the SEO titles to the meta details to the names to the images and everything of whatever Shopify products you have listed on your Shopify. It has every detail here and hence the AI agent has the access to all your SKUs, all the details and you and I, we all know that AI is extremely smart. It knows how to fetch any small intricate detail out of a large data set. So all we have done is we have provided a vector database to the AI agent. And this entire setup is called as a RAG agent, which is a retrieval augmented generative agent. Basically means that it can retrieve data and augment its own reply and generate a reply based on that data, which it has retrieved from a large database. I have also given it a tool, which is called as Think. This basically gives the AI agent the capacity to think before he replies to the customer. And then of course we have a tool for get order details. Once the AI agent has created its own reply, it would simply go to the if node. It would decide that whether or not it was an audio reply or a text reply or an image reply. And based on that, it would of course send its message. Now some of the major reliefs and return on investment that you would get after having this agent deployed for your business is number one, a 24 seven agent. With this AI agent, you no longer need to rely on a human to respond back to the queries manually. Even if it's 2 a.m. in the night, this AI would be active, live, and no matter what a person is asking, it would give a customized, personalized response to them. Second, cost savings. If you have 10 people in your customer support team right now, just deploying this WhatsApp agent would reduce that team to just five people because most of the times they are generally replying about very basic queries. and when you pair this AI agent with our AI customer support call agent, that customer support team can be cut down to probably two to three. How that revolutionize your business and bring in AI who talks exactly like a human, but responds to all the queries that a customer is putting up over a call. A combination of all of these AI systems would probably save you over $50,000 per year. Can you just imagine the potential it holds? Third, efficiency and accuracy. This agent can talk to hundreds of customers at the very same time. It doesn't need any breaks. It does not make any mistakes like generally humans do. And it would save all the conversation into a database. So even if some customer is contacting you five years from now, the AI agent will remember that, okay, I had this conversation with this person last time he contacted. Fourth, increase sales. Since it replies almost instantly and solves all the queries that a customer would have, that adds on to the customer satisfaction and that automatically increases your sales and retention. So yes, if you want to see how we can set up something similar for your business and help you save at least $50,000 in staff expenses, then you can book a free demo call with me by clicking the first link in the description.